Alright, this video is going to show us how to use the 3D extrude tool to turn our 2D sketches into 3D objects. So it starts with a with a 2D sketch, just like the one that I've got here. I click finish sketch and it sends me back into 3D land. My extrude tool is right up here under the 3D model tab in my ribbon. So I click extrude and all it really needs is a closed profile, like the, like the square that I've got drawn on here. Since that square is the only closed profile in the, in the image, it selected my uh, it selected that for me automatically as my profile. Uh, if there were other 2D closed shapes, I would need to manually select which one I wanted to extrude. Um, I have a 2x2 two two square, so I'm going to extrude it 2 inches to make a 2x2x2 two by two by two cube. So that was pretty much the most basic extrusion that I could make. Now, I can also, now that I've got a 3D geometry, I can create a 2D sketch on one of the faces of this cube, and I'm actually going to make a line extending out to the circle so that I can, I'm sorry, extending out to the center so that I can have a center point for a circle. I want to type this in to be 1.5 inches in diameter, and then I'm going to rid of this little construction line because I don't need it anymore. So I'm going to extrude this circle, but remember I've got to hit finish sketch first. It sends me back to my 3D model tab, and now I can extrude the circle. So since we're not sure, since Inventor's not sure which of these closed profiles I want to extrude, I've got to tell it this one, and it automatically extrudes it up into a peg, gives me a little, a little preview of what that would look like. Uh, it assumes that since my last extrusion was 2, that that's what I want this time around, but instead I'm going to change that to a uh, quarter of an inch. And I click my little green check, and that shows me this shape with my extrusion on there. So uh, there's a couple of different ways that we can do this. I'm going to make another sketch on the side here, it's just the same as I did before, with a circle in the middle of the side here. and the same size, 1.5. Alright, so I hit finish sketch. Now with this extrusion, uh, I'm going to select that circle again as my profile, but I have the option down here to change my direction. So I've been making pegs, but now I'm going to choose direction 2 and make this extrusion actually push into the other shape and carve away uh, one quarter of an inch deep. So we can pull our profiles outward and, uh, and make new solid shapes using this extrude tool, or we can use it to push into existing solids and carve away at them. Pretty neat tool, very useful. We, uh, we have a lot of different uses for it.